This is happening now. Oh, all right. another video so you all read the title of this this is a very monumental occasion for me I am very thrilled and excited to announce that after ooh, years of talking about this and planning something you know, anything you know uh, that uh, I'm finally going to Japan I have been planning this trip out uh, with like my friends and with you know many different groups of people but most of the time it's been you know Jacob, Will, Sean. We've been planning this for years. We've been planning this since like I don't even think senior year, I think probably junior year of high school, which would mean that it's been almost five years now that we've at least been like actively plotting or talking about doing this. Uh, but me personally I knew that I wanted to go to Japan uh, ever since I spent one night in a layover in Tokyo in like 2012, I think it was, or 2013, in a hotel, right? Like I didn't even get to like go out and see the city. We had a hotel that had like a, a decent-ish view of what I can only assume is downtown Tokyo. I don't know, I don't remember, you know, it's fuzzy memories, that's almost like, that's over 10 years ago. Um, but ever since then, I always knew that I wanted to go there, you know, just to experience it. And that was before I even started watching anime, before I even knew what anime was. But now, over 10 years later, we're actually doing it. The flights have already been bought and I'm um, saving up money for it. So it's actually go time, we're actually doing this. So um, that brings me up to my next point, right? It's happening, like regardless of, you know, any other factors because it's the flights that at least two out of three of us bought, I'm not gonna say which two, are non-refundable. So. We're going, you know, it's just a matter of how poor we're going to be or how much wiggle room we're going to have when it comes to money. Um, because really, you know, it's hard out here. You know, I'm not even going to lie. You know, I have film major friends who have been struggling to, you know, find employment, not even just in the film industry, but just in general. Um, and so really, it's just, I know that it's difficult you know, to do something like this. This is a very difficult endeavor. And that's why I'm not gonna be scared to ask for help. So, just gonna put it out there. My friends and I started a GoFundMe, you know, just to have some extra help when it comes to the monetary expenses. Like, um, Will, don't wanna tell all his business on the internet, but you know, he's working his butt off trying to make sure that he has the money for this trip. He's got a second job. We all have like bills and things that we have to pay for. But, you know, any kind of extra little push would just like make our trip more comfortable because I've been all over the internet. I've been uh, on Reddit, I've been on Twitter, I've been on, you know, many different like forum places. Will has talked to people who have been to traveling to Japan, like people that he knows personally. We, we're really trying to make this the best that we can. And um, we, so we have that GoFundMe that even after GoFundMe takes their cut, uh, we should still, between the three of us, have about a uh, thousand extra dollars to, you know, for the trip. So the flights have been purchased and, you know, most people that I've talked to at least say that that's the hardest part anyway. So we're already, we're already over that hurdle. Now we just need to have like some spending money, the money for hotels and all that kind of stuff. So any amount helps, anything. You know, um, we've already gotten a couple of donations in the past like week or two that it's been up. But I just wanted to go on here because this is my largest platform and just say that, you know, hey, we have this available. Uh, if you want to donate like $5, $10, $20, whatever you can spare, you know, all of it's getting divvied up between us. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to make this trip happen. We're trying to have as much fun as possible. I know personally, I've even had the thought of making a movie while I'm there and, you know, Everything is, you know, slightly cheaper in Japan because of, you know, the conversion rate. But, you know, if I'm struggling to make a movie here, you know, I'm definitely going to struggle over there if I want to do something. But, hey, I, I don't like limiting myself creatively or, or really just in any capacity. I'm saving money. Will saving money. Like I said, he has a second job, you know, now. And, you know, Jacob's saving money, too. We're all saving money. But, you know, 
Do I think that we're not gonna have enough to make the trip happen? I don't think so. But are we gonna have enough to make the trip the best that we can? I don't know. That's where like that extra like 500 or to a thousand dollars or whatever, however much we can raise on the GoFundMe will be crucial to making this trip, you know, not just happen, but be like comfortable, I guess. Like I don't really know what other kind of phrase to say. You know, if we go there with like a thousand to each of our names, you know, we, we will probably survive the whole trip, right? But it will probably be like eating McDonald's every day, you know, versus if we have like 2,000, you know, I can't speak for the other two, but I know I don't want to have that like lingering over me, if that makes sense. I don't want to have to be like, okay, well, I have this ironclad budget that I have to stick to. Uh, I can't do anything else. There's no wiggle room, right? I just want that wiggle room. I want that comfortability. Um, and so that's where I'm coming at from my perspective. I know for them and for me too, it, it, it's definitely a matter of um, we can save the money, but we also still have things here that we have to pay for, like um, school, for example, for me and Will, um, car notes, you know, whatever it, it may be, bills, you know, just in general, life, groceries, food, water, uh, you know, all that stuff that, you know, maybe we shouldn't have to pay for, but we do, because capitalism, any kind of help. That's really just all I'm trying to say. I know I'm just dragging this out. Uh, any kind of help that we can get would be great. Jacob's going to Japan, Will's going to Japan. Maybe Sean's going to Japan. You know, maybe if we raise enough money, Sean will be able to go because that is his biggest worry. His biggest worry and why he's still on the fence about not going is because he's scared that he's not gonna have the money. And you know, we're just full sending it. We're, we're saying YOLO, you know, we're gonna make this work no matter what, but you know, any kind of help from you guys would definitely, you know, ease our minds. That's really all I got to say in this video, besides just a little bit of an announcement, which is that I am doing something that I haven't done in a while. This is happening now. All right. I'm about to record like four videos back to back, and I'm not stripping naked for no reason. It's for the next video, I swear. But. Uh, I'm doing all of this for Summer of Shame. I don't know if you guys remember a couple of years ago on this channel where I would upload like every day for like a month. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but I'm not doing exactly that this time, but you know, this is gonna be my third official Summer of Shame. Like I know I was gonna do a third one, but then all of my high school friends that I was hanging out with decided to ostracize me and, and then they all apologized pretty much the year. That, the actual Summer of Shame 3 that I originally announced just never happened. So this is actually Summer of Shame 3 and I'm gonna be uploading a video every other day. Not every day, which, but that's still a lot, right? I'll be uploading a video every other day for the next two months, for all of July and all of August. So yeah, stay tuned for that. There's gonna be a bunch of content coming your way. That's why I'm recording four videos back to back to back. This is the first one. I still got three more to go after this. And uh, I got a whole bunch of other videos that I still just have to edit. Uh, there's gonna be like two documentaries, the Capybara documentary. And if you haven't seen a trailer for that, check that out. It should be on one of these tags up here, right? Check that out. Not a lot of you guys watch the trailer, but I worked really hard on that movie. Um, there's gonna be another documentary that's gonna be coming out at the end of July. That is gonna be a bit of a surprise, so I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, but yeah, Summer Shane 3, for real this time, coming soon. Well, starting in like two days, really, yeah. Whoa, let's do this, Summer Shane, let's go!